What's up, y'all? It's no joke out. We're coming at y'all live from the balcony of my house here, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. I want to show you guys what's going on. This is a little. So, so I'm on the balcony here. You can see the street down there. Got these construction guys. Bunch of trash outside of my house that we paid to have removed, but they still haven't uh, removed the shit. Now, this open patch of land right here, when I first moved in this January, this was just total jungle, man. This was all fucking this thick ass jungle. Uh, it was beautiful to look at because like you look outside your house and it's like you're not even in Phnom Penh anymore. It's like it's you know like you have a like like a sense of nature. But even a month ago it was like that. But they've been clear cutting it. Uh, you guys you guys can see if I can zoom in there. That's like all the wood there. My camera doesn't zoom in too well, guys. But something I want to say is that you know here here in Phnom Penh like there there are like there are no parks. There are no parks. Meaning, like, there's no place where you can just go to an open patch of land and just hang out and play. Like, no playgrounds, can't play sports or anything. So, what I what I think is going to happen here is they're just going to build a fucking high-rise. They're just going to build another fucking hotel, as you can see up there. The, that, that, like, these buildings aren't even done yet, man. These buildings have been here for a long-ass time now. And the reason that they're not going to build a playground for children to enjoy, so the kids have something to do, therefore enhancing the community... Uh, therefore, decreasing the likelihood that these kids are going to like resort to crime, just like in the hood back in the states. Like they don't build playgrounds there; they build fucking businesses there, so they can make motherfuckers rich. Hey, what's up, guys? Just day, just day. Looks to buy. Yeah, man. So it's fucked up. So because a playground's not going to make money, a, a football field or a pitch or whatever's not going to make money, but a motherfucking hotel will. So. I'm gonna use this to my advantage. I'm gonna use this to my advantage. This is gonna be a pretty big high rise here. Now, whether it's an apartment complex or, or, or a hotel or whatever, people are gonna be living here, I'm sure. So that means that I get more clients. That means I get more customers. Like I make more money. So it's actually, although it's fucked up that they clear cut all this land and, and, and they're just gonna use it for business. They're just gonna build businesses here and put plumbing and electricity and all this bullshit in fucking up the nature here even though like like Phnom Penh has no sense of nature guys like if you've never been here before uh don't don't expect to come here and, and have like oh we're gonna go for, through a nice walk through the arboretum oh there's there's no arboretums here in Phnom Penh uh, and if there are I sure as shit don't know about them <laughs> so that, that that's something that's pretty common here in Cambodia and I know a lot of people get all sensitive and shit when you talk about the government and everything but it's fucking true and you know there, there, there's there's no denying it that that the that the government here uh, sells a lot of land to China, sells a lot of land to foreign, uh, the, just foreign countries, uh, simply to make money. So what's what, what what's going on in a lot of parts of Cambodia is is they're just clear cutting shit, like out in the farmlands, out in the jungles, out in the rice fields. They're just clear cutting shit so they can develop, so they can put in pipelines or whatever it is they want to put in, and they're pushing lots of Cambodians out of their homes to be homeless. Um, and even people that that stay and they they try to fight to have the land like like preserved, they just get shot the fuck down. They just get shot down. So that's definitely what's going on here in Cambodia. Now again, I'm not talking bad about the government. I'm simply speaking the truth. Like this this is what's happening here. Uh, that's fine. And if I get shot in the fucking head for for speaking the truth, well, so be it, man. <laughs> so be it. So again, I just want to show you guys what's going on. Um, this is, this is very common here in Cambodia, and if there's one thing about Phnom Penh that I don't like besides all the fucking noise, like, when they like when they do construction here, there's going to be constant noise, like, probably from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. for 12, you know. And to be fair, everybody has to deal with it, like, not just me. We all have to deal with it. It's, it's not like I'm the only guy being affected by it. Um, and at least, at least some of these construction workers get to make some money, man. But there's definitely zero sense of nature here in Phnom Penh. Like, even if you go to the, like some of the parks here, the parks where there's like a little bit of grass, they don't even let you walk on it. You can't even go on it, man. You can't even go on the grass. The, the fucking security guards are like, get off the grass. So it's pretty, it's pretty fucked up, man. Uh, I was trying to go on a ride today with my girl, man. We, we were gonna go like ride around in the countryside, but uh, it don't look like it's gonna happen today. It doesn't look like it's going to happen today with all this rain, so I'm just going to chill out with her in the house. Um, in a few days here, we're going to Kampong Cham province. We're going to go to a couple Kamai weddings, which should be pretty interesting. Like, I'll be the only foreigner there, and I'm going to probably get a lot of attention just from how I look. So 
that'll be cool man um i guess and i'm gonna definitely take a do a video or two there hopefully see some cool shit and um anyways man just want to give a shout out to my fans i'm trying to think if there's anything else i could talk about man uh just aside from aside from what's going on like Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh is, 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 is kind of like behind, like, I've heard people say Phnom Penh's like 15 years behind all the other Southeast Asian countries. I think a lot of it has to do with the Khmer Rouge. Back, back in the, back in the late 70s, early 80s, Cambodia was fucked up with war, genocide. Um, there was a Holocaust here. There was a Holocaust. Fuck you Jews. Y'all motherfuckers don't own Holocaust. Holocaust is a thing. It's a thing that happens all around the world, all throughout history. I digress. I digress. So, yeah, man. So, within the next 15 years, Phnom Penh will be a lot more developed. Probably, like, fucking Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, some shit like that. And uh, hopefully I don't uh, live here in Phnom Penh in the next 15 years. Because I, I definitely don't want to keep living in Phnom Penh. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest. I don't, I don't want to keep living here because it's, there's too much construction. There's a lot of development. Um, it's becoming more westernized. Granted, I'm not trying to be negative here, like scare people, but it's slowly but surely becoming more westernized, and I left America because it's so westernized. So maybe maybe one day I'll live in Kampot or see in Oakville or see in Reap, or maybe just leave Cambodia, period, because they're going to be cl fucking clear-cutting every goddamn thing, man, which is fucked up. It's really fucked up, man, because Cambodia is a gorgeous country, but it's also a very corrupt country. So whoever's in power, like, they're going to do what they got to do to make a quick buck. As you can see here, the best thing that they could do, the best thing that they could do with this land right here is make a community center for all the people here in this particular neighborhood. So the kids have something to do, the parents can get involved, it would build a stronger sense of community, but that's not gonna make, that's not gonna make rich people more money because rich people want what? They just want more money. They don't give a fuck about community, they don't give a fuck about people's feelings, they don't care about your quality of life, they care about their motherfucking wallets, and that's the motherfucking truth. That's no joke. And fuck y'all if y'all got a problem with it, bitch. Fuck y'all. That's real talk right there, man. Fuck y'all rich motherfuckers. You see my eyes, man. I'm serious, man. Fuck you. I'm serious as a motherfucking heart attack. Anyways, man, check me out on Instagram, at no joke Howard. Follow me on Instagram, pretty please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Check me out on Facebook, facebook.com slash nojoecoward. Something I want to do soon is I want to start making t-shirts for my fans. I need to open a bank account here, but once I do, I can start designing t-shirts. So I want you guys to tell me. I want some feedback. Would you guys buy my t-shirts? Would you guys buy like No Joe Coward t-shirts with some of my catchphrases on it? Maybe a coffee cup or something, man. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to build my brand, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build the No Joke brand, and I feel like I have enough support now to do that. So, hit me up, No Joke Striking at gmail.com for any video ideas. If you guys are interested in fitness training, uh, fight training, anything like that, that's what I do, man. Hit me up at No Joke Striking. If you guys have any ideas for me to make some money, anything like that. If you guys want to send me a package, anything. If you guys want to help me out, No Joke Striking at gmail.com. All right, look, I love all my fans. Stay tuned. I always speak the truth to y'all. Always keep it fucking 100%, man. So I love you guys. Peace.